Hello, and welcome back to Chris Mann's Waterfront Insights. In this episode, we're going to showcase the Lister Waterway. The Lister Waterway is part of the Buena Vista Waterway System, and is also the easternmost canal in the system. Lister Canal runs north to south. It has Gardner Street to the west and Lister Street to the east. There are approximately 30 houses on this canal, 15 on the east side, 15 on the west side. Sit back and relax. This tour takes approximately eight minutes. Lister Canal is approximately 120 feet wide and is consistent throughout the length of the canal. The canal is not quite straight as there is a dog leg about halfway through it. Fishing air is seasonal. Sometimes the water's salty, sometimes it's fresh, sometimes it's brackish. That's because it's at the mouth of a river. There are many types of fish here. There are redfish, there are snook, there are tarpon, there are cobia, grouper, speckled trout, snappers, kingfish, and probably a lot of other fish that I forgot. It's also not uncommon to see manatees or the occasional dolphins swim up in the canals. There are also many types of birds here. We surveyed this canal from end to end and found that the general depth was about five feet. However, there were a few spots near the entrance of the canal that were closer to four and a half feet or maybe even a little bit less. Now this was at low tide. Also, we have this information available and if you would be interested in it, we could email it to you. Send us an email at waterfront.insights at gmail.com. A key difference between owning waterfront in Punta Gorda versus Port Charlotte is the seawalls. In Punta Gorda, the seawalls are owned and maintained by the city. In Port Charlotte, the owner of the property is responsible for their own seawalls. Another big difference is, in Port Charlotte, you can have dock houses or wood docks. In Punta Gorda, you can only have small concrete docks. Also in Punta Gorda, you cannot have boat lift covers. Something to consider is most of these canals in the old sailboat section run north to south. Charlotte Harbor also runs north to south. Since these are on the north side of the bay, when we get a good wind from the south, chop will build out in the bay and it will make its way up into these canals. If your boat is not on a lift, it might get rocky. As we reach the end of the canal, you'll notice this is Edgewater Drive, and the bridge has very little air draft. The canal does continue on to the other side of the bridge. However, most of those houses, although waterfront, you cannot have a boat, unless it's a very small boat and fit under this bridge. Now it's time to turn around. This is Edgewater Drive. On the other side of the bridge, it is considered Omen Waterway. To the immediate left is Lister Park. There really aren't any amenities there. It's basically just a couple of empty lots. And all through this section of canal, the depth sounder is reading off between 5.0, 5.2, and 5.4 feet at low tide. As you can see, there's a couple of large sailboats back here. However, I think they are probably draft restricted to the tides. There are several empty lots on this canal, 
that probably used to have houses on them. However, since Hurricane Charlie, they have been demolished. Some of the docks were left in place, but now are in bad disrepair. This canal does have a number of fairly large sailboats. And now here's the gentle dogleg turn I mentioned previously. And then it doglegs again to the left up here past this catamaran. As we make this gentle turn left, the view to the bay will open up. The Lister Waterway does have its own channel. It exits into the Peace River and is a straight shot over to Punta Gorda, Punta Gorda Isles, or Fisherman's Village. Coming up on the left is a new seawall build, or a seawall replacement. I've seen this done from barge, from the water side, or from the backyard side with heavy equipment. Either way, this is a big, dirty, and very expensive job. As we reach the mouth of the canal, this is where we found the shallowest spots, anywhere from 4.2 to 4.7 feet. I think this is just from silting. Now you could head straight out the channel, but we're going to hang a right to the starboard side and cruise down the canal or to the next canal over, which is Gardner Waterway. As long as you hug the seawall close, this area is dredged, and it's running about 5.2 to 5.4 feet. Again, if you would like any of this information, we'd be happy to email it to you at waterfront.insights at gmail.com. Thank you for watching. Fair winds and following seas.